I got the waffle iron out again, and today we're making sweet and savory ham and cheese waffles. I'm channeling my inner Leslie Nope today, and we're gonna have waffles for lunch. We're making sweet and savory ham and cheese waffles. Obviously, the savory comes from the ham and cheese and the waffles, and we're gonna make a spicy sweet maple drizzle for the top of our waffles. I decided I wanted to make this recipe today because I had a ton of ham left over from New Year's. Um, we made a ham on New Year's Eve so that we could make Hop and John the next day with the ham bone. And there's only two of us and it was a large ham. So we're trying to eat as much of the ham as possible before we stuff it in the freezer. So let's get started. Now we're just gonna start with Bisquick. I know it's pretty easy to take flour and baking soda and all that stuff and put it together, but I had Bisquick. I really like Bisquick. I think it's a great product. And we always have it on hand for camping season because it just makes it a lot easier to have pancakes and such while we're camping just to have one box with us. So we've got our Bisquick and I, the base of this is really just the waffle um, recipe on the back of the Bisquick box. But the things that we're gonna do to it to change it up a little bit is I'm going to add about a teaspoon of smoked paprika because I like it and it ups the ante a little bit on the savoriness on these pancakes or these waffles. And it um, gives it a nice color when it's all cooked together. Like the red sort of mixes with everything else and makes it a nice golden-y color, um, which I like. We're also going to add about a cup of cheddar, shredded, shredded, shredded cheese that I um, shredded earlier and about a cup of chopped ham from that leftover ham we had. And I'm gonna mix this with the dry ingredients so the flour can um, coat the cheese and the ham and that will help it sort of separate and get even dispersion within the batter. So we're just gonna go ahead and toss that into our Bisquick. All right, so that is evenly divided. And then the rest of the ingredients are pretty simple. We have two tablespoons of vegetable oil, an egg, and a cup and a half of milk. And so we're just gonna whisk this together until we get a nice smooth batter. Obviously, it won't be totally smooth. We have chunks of cheese and ham in there, um, but we want it to be as smooth as possible. And as always, I should have used a bigger bowl, but this will work, we'll get through it. I like to use a whisk here because it is easier to kind of break up all that flour and mix everything well, so. While we're whisking, um, you should heat up your waffle iron so that it is ready to go. Mine is plugged in and ready to go and turned on the highest setting. All right, so we're all mixed up. The next step is to waffle it. So I'm going to get out one of my favorite kitchen tools, which is my disher. That will help us portion this out nicely. And we're gonna spray our waffle maker so that our waffles don't stick. And then I'm just going to use my little scoop here Give it another little stir here. And kind of just, I've got four little quadrants here, so I'm just gonna evenly put this into those quadrants. You never really know, I feel like, every time I take out my waffle iron, it's a little bit of a game to remember exactly how much should go in, but you know, we'll either end up with some waffle batter coming out or maybe a little bit of a small waffle. That's okay, it's still gonna be delicious. So then we're just going to let that cook. And while we're waiting for that waffle to cook, let's make some sunny side eggs.
All right, we're back. I cleaned up my area a little bit and the waffle iron says it's done. Now, you never know. I feel like sometimes it says it's done and it's not really done. So let's just take a quick look at it. And it is actually perfectly done. It's very golden brown. And I actually managed to do a decent job filling up all those little quadrants. So let's get this out. This is an awkward position for me. So let me just move it a little bit. Oh, look at that. This waffle looks fantastic. Now we're gonna to top it with one of our eggs. And actually for a lunch size portion, I'll probably split this in half with Sean. So we'll each get a half of one of these waffles. Um, and this batter, you can either just put the batter in the fridge and it'll last several days, or you can go ahead and cook them all up in the waffle maker and um, then either put them in the fridge for the weekend or put them in the freezer so that you have ham and cheese waffle lunch anytime you want them. Um, so that's it. Now let's talk about our sriracha maple drizzle sauce here. This is maybe my favorite part of this recipe. It is half a cup of maple syrup and a tablespoon of sriracha. That's my heat level tolerance. Um, you could add a little bit more, add a little less, but a little bit of that nice spice and garlic from the sriracha makes this a fantastic sauce for this waffle. And also we've melted about a tablespoon of butter in here and it's all heated up and warm. So we're just going to drizzle this on top of our perfectly cooked waffle and perfectly cooked sunny side up egg. Oh man, I cannot wait to eat this. And of course, I forgot a fork, let me go get that. Probably, probably a knife too. We'll get that later. All right, let's get a little bit of this egg and this waffle. Mmm. It's so good. I mean, it's a waffle. Who doesn't love a waffle? And it's got that sort of saltiness from the ham and smokiness from the ham and the cheese. But I'm telling you what, waffles are fantastic and delicious, but this is almost the start of the show. That sweet and spicy buttery mixture is just perfect. I love this dish. Um, I love having this in the, the waffles in the freezer so that we can have a go-to breakfast, lunch, or dinner anytime. I think you should make this. If you liked this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that bell button to be alerted when I launch a new video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Now go have some fun in the kitchen.